You are here to participate in an atomic maneuver. Atomic weapons are truly powerful, but they don't mean the end of all life as so many people think. You can live through an atomic attack, and by taking common sense precautions, live to fight another day. The evaporation of the South Tower. An underground nuclear charge destroys the inner steel core by intense radiation. The absorbed energy inside the steel core causes the building to erupt like a volcano where outshooting material forms a falling mushroom cloud and the entire structure disintegrates into dust like a dying water fountain. Clearly visible is the black central cloud over the center of explosion hovering a few seconds in the sky before dissolving. Horizontally, the fast-moving pyroclastic current of hot gas, rock and evaporated steel is expanding on ground level with high speed. The evaporation of the North Tower. As before, an underground nuclear charge destroys the inner steel core by intense radiation. The building forms a nuclear chimney which allows to channel the radiation energy upwards. Like a bottle of champagne opened too quickly, a fountain of material is erupting, destroying the entire standing structure from within. Clearly visible is the black central cloud standing a minute over the center of explosion. The evaporation of Building 7 by a third nuclear charge, placed in a rock bit deep below the steel structure, is based on the same principle. For preparation, small classical cutting charges prepare the building by weakening the support columns. Then the destruction sequence is initiated by evaporating the building's steel core. A cauliflowering mushroom cloud will escape from below the earth 60 seconds after the building's collapse, rising approximately one mile above the city. After destruction, a smoking cauldron of molten rock remains. Rising vapors from below carry deadly particles into the atmosphere, while whirling outbursts of black smoke and radioactive steam make the rescue works more dangerous than being on top of a volcano. When the head of the cloud reaches very cold air, actual ice crystals form an ice cap over the cloud. The cloud itself is still hot and churning. So the ice flows down over the sides, mixing in through the cloud, eventually turning it pure white in color. This white mushroom, zooming up to 40 or 50,000 feet, may be several miles in diameter and be seen from many miles away. Eventually, the cloud drifts off and you can't tell it from the other clouds in the sky. Watched from a safe distance, this explosion is one of the most beautiful sights ever seen by man. 